is basically saying all cylinders, no matter how big they are and how heavy they are, will have the same acceleration down the ramp. Which sounds kind of weird. Maybe we should see if that's true or not. All right. So what I've got here is three cylinders, different sizes and different masses because they're made out of different materials. This one is really heavy. I'm pretty sure it's steel. It looks like it's made out of iron. This one is solid except for a teeny hole in the middle. It's shiny and light, probably aluminum. This is probably also steel, but it's at least a different size, right? Three cylinders. What we're gonna do is let them roll down the ramp and I'm gonna start them exactly together and we'll see if they have the same acceleration of their center of mass. Let's see, here we go. Sure enough, you heard them all hit. They all fell off the ramp at exactly the same time. Amazing. Now, is this only true for a cylinder? No, right? Because if we think about it, this whole derivation, the only place that the cylinder properties show up is here. This is the moment of the center of mass plus mr squared here in the parallel axis theorem. So if we wanted to do a, an empty uh, cylinder, like a cylindrical shell, right? So that would just be this case. All the mass sits at the radius r. So what that says is that this becomes mr squared. Right? So mr squared plus mr squared is two mr squared. This becomes two uh, instead of three halves. So it's basically just a half uh, g sine theta. Half G sine theta. So we can confirm that. We can look at a couple of empty cylinders here, different sizes. I think they're both aluminum, but they are different sizes. So is it true for every shape? Or is it just true for a solid cylinder? Let's find out. Mm, and go, and boom. Exactly the same. Hit it exactly the same time. They just accelerated a little slower, one half G sine theta. I have three spheres here. We have to know, right? We have to know. So here's three spheres. They're all solid spheres. Uh, this is rubber. This is rubber. This feels harder, probably Bakelite or something like that. And, uh, and we know for a sphere, two-fifths goes here. And again, all you're going to have is a constant down here, two-fifths plus one. This should go down at five-sevenths g sine theta. And let's see if they all go down the same. Surely they will. This will be less of a noisy crash but more fun to watch. And boom. Exactly the same. You can even uh, use this kind of a, a, a calculation to figure out who's going to go down the fastest. So I think my last two here, yes, my last two are uh, a cylinder, a, a cylindrical shell and a solid sphere. And we can just plug in here and see what's going to happen. Cylindrical shell, we already talked about. This would be 1 plus 1 is 2, so it's 1 half g sine theta. And the uh, sphere, we said, was uh, 2 fifths, so 2 fifths says uh, 7 fifths, so flip it over, 5 sevenths g sine theta. So you can see the sphere should go faster, right? So let's see. Completely different materials, aluminum, cylindrical shell, rubber ball, bigger shell than a ball, it doesn't matter. The sphere has to win. Here we go. And the sphere wins. <laughs>